The 21st century is the end times. Not the end of the world, but it is the end of time. There is a huge difference between the end of the world and the end of time. End of time is a 2,000 year cycle. Every 2,000 years is an end of time. End of the world, only God knows when that will be. But are we living in the end of times? 100% yes, because since the time of the coming of the, the first coming of the Messiah, it has been 2,000 and a bit years. We've already gone into the end of times. And every end of time cycle, something dramatic, drastic happens at a global level. From our father Adam to Noah, the great flood, 2,000 years. From the great flood to Abraham, 2,000 years. From Abraham to Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all glory to his holy name, 2,000 years. And from the Lord till now, it's been 2,024 years. Definitely we are living in the end of times. Every end of time cycle or circle, the fear of God, of the Lord, diminishes dramatically. People veer off the road. People don't care about God, not interested in God. People live in a very sinful way. In a sinful way. Why do you think God brought the great flood? Because there was a lot of marriages and divorces at the time of our father Noah. People marrying, divorcing, remarrying, remarrying, remarrying four, five, six, seven times. And what happened at the time of the Sodom and Gomorrah, LGBTQ, RSTU, VYZ? Today, the 21st century has Sodom and Gomorrah and the time of Noah put together. Divorce is happening left, right and center. Male with male and female with female is also happening at a big time and being supported, endorsed by so many wonderful leaders, including those who call themselves Christians. They're not Christians. Impossible. For someone to call himself a believer in Christ and the church of Christ and puts that flag, it is not the church of Christ. One, don't ever call that a church. Christ never changes, please. Today they are coming with the poison of the snake Satan and saying in the name of love we need to embrace everyone, we need to accept everyone. Hey, the Lord is loving, the Lord is merciful, the Lord loves everyone so let us embrace everyone. Excuse me? That's half the truth. And when you speak half the truth, it is extremely dangerous. You either speak the whole truth or be quiet. Don't open your mouth. If you go halfway only because you're destroying yourself and destroying so many people that are listening to your deceptive statement that is filled with poison. Christ yesterday, today and forever is the same, never changes. So if he burned Sodom and Gomorrah, he will burn it again. He will burn it and just look at the world. Isn't it burning already? The world is lost. The world is living in total blindness and it is morally corrupt and bankrupt. Morally bankrupt. They call the light darkness and they call the darkness light as the Lord says it in the book of Isaiah. Wow. Because the moment we veer off the way of the Lord, we become blind, ignorant, fools, fools, you need to be careful, pray for everyone, love everyone, but you cannot accept every deed that is offensive to your Lord and Master Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it's very simple, certain church, so-called church leaders think by embracing everyone in the name of love, well, you have sold your soul to Satan. The one who is all love said to the religious leaders, you sons of the snake. Wow. The Lord didn't say, hey, Father, 
let me hug them and embrace them because you're love daddy and since you're love I need to embrace everyone no he called them in their faces he said you are the sons of the snakes you are like your father Satan the deceiver and the killer of mankind from day one from the very beginning the one who is all love he was sharper than a sword when it came to holding the truth fighting for the truth he stood firm never gave way never compromised 